I am Mike Stanton. It's March 12th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Dan Bingham and Chris Flossie from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Uh, Dan, let's start with you. It was a good week for munis versus the rest of the fixed income markets. What was driving uh, investor support? Yeah, it's uh, sort of the same theme that we've talked a lot about with uh, higher treasury rates. The 10-year uh, currently at a 162 and the 30-year at a 238. Um, you know, uh, actually the 10 year hit at 164, which was uh, the highest we've seen in a year. Um, so continue pressure on the treasury side of things. Um, the municipal side with the inflows, we saw another 1.1 billion inflows this week. And there had been some speculation or some fears that the higher rates would lead to outflows. And we really haven't seen that. We've seen pretty steady inflows into the municipal uh, marketplace. Um, and with that, we've seen, um, uh, once again, that ratio that we talk about, the spread, uh, the ratio of the municipal market to the treasury market um, hitting, uh, or uh, not record lows, but touching levels that we really wouldn't expect to see in a normal environment, where the 10-year ratio uh, today is at 62%. The 30-year ratio is at 69%. So what we're seeing is pressure on the treasury side and the municipal market, given some of the technicals and the cash inflows are really outperforming in, in this environment. Um, you know, a lot of speculation continues to be, um, you know, when and if uh, the municipal market will start to see some outflows, which would pressure yields higher and in turn drive that ratio to a more normal environment. And in the meantime, thinking about credit fundamentals, again, obviously, it was also a good week uh, from the municipal market from the perspective of uh, the federal stimulus package passing uh, really landmark direct aid to local governments. You know, you don't, you, it's usually filtered through the state level. This uh, package includes direct aid to the local governments, uh, was heavily uh, lobbied for by the National League of Cities and other groups in DEC. So that's something that should give uh, investors some comfort as well. Oh, absolutely. From a credit point of view, it's a 350 billion of direct state stimulus, additional monies um, to localities within the states, the unemployment numbers, the direct uh, individual benefits, uh, uh, checks of 1400 start, should start to uh, flow out this weekend, as early as this weekend. Um, all of that is uh, taking some of the pressure from a credit point of view off concerns in the municipal market. And in fact, we saw the state of Illinois, um, Moody's took them off uh, credit watch um, and uh, Chicago Board of Ed was actually upgraded from uh, B1 to BA3. So we are starting to see and, and would expect to see more um, positive news out of the credit, uh, credit environment from the states and cities. And one of the things that's interesting in this cycle, though, however, is even as you've seen some marginal credit improvement, uh, bond insurance usage and bond insurance penetration has remained uh, pretty stable. So Chris, why don't you take us through what you saw in the new issue market this week? Sure. I mean, as we mentioned last week, there was a lot of high grade names in the market this week. And with those high grade names, we saw insured penetration take a slight pause. Uh, for BAM, there was roughly 180 million of par insured for the week. The, this was led by two larger competitive sales. One was a $46 million Florida International University deal that was bought by UBS. And the second uh, was Key Bank bought a Northern Lebanon school district in Pennsylvania. Right. And then so looking ahead to next week, and now again, the, the calendar still, the, the supply still not really picking up. Uh, it's it's not, but the calendar next week is anchored by two larger transactions. There's 3.2 million, 3.2 billion uh, for two larger deals for the uh, New York State personal income tax deal. There's also uh, an Illinois geo transaction, so they're going to come to market with that fresh new outlook from uh, from S and P. Uh, for BAM, we are expecting roughly 200 million of par insured. There's a 39 million dollar Lafayette, Indiana water and school water and sewer deal. That would, that's going to be priced by R.W. Baird. And there's also a $37 million Cloverleaf School District COP transaction that R.W. Baird will also bring. Great. So some good opportunities for investors there. All right, gentlemen, thanks for uh, being with us. We'll uh, check in next week. Thanks, Mike. Great. Thanks, Mike. market is unpredictable, BAM gives you certainty. In the face of market volatility and illiquidity, BAM insured municipal bonds deliver default protection, value preservation, and a durable AA rating from S&P. 
BAM's insurance protects against everything that causes a default. And adding BAM insured municipal bonds to your portfolio is easy. Talk to your investment advisor. Visit buildamerica.com or look for BAM eligible bonds on the Perform Portfolio Management System. BAM. Build America Mutual.